Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Try hack me. Linux part fundamentals part three. I just came back from vacation. Haven't uploaded a video yet. So have a upload it. I mean load it. Let's get right into it. Task one introduction. As you know guys, there's already a YouTube video you can follow along. Well, I'm just going to show you guys so how to complete these tasks. And um, yes, I strongly recommend reading through all this. So task one introduction. Just need complete. Task two, deploy your Linux machine. So I believe I already loaded already. And it's asking you to log in. So this is how you log in. SSH. I believe it's try hack me at 10101076. That's my IP address. Yes. Try hack me. There you go, I'm in. Complete. Task three, terminal text editors. So it talks about nano, Vim. So just follow along. Let's see, uh, I just wanna see what kind of files I have. Let's go nano, my file, like an example. And let's copy and paste this. Copy, paste this first, then right click, paste, exit, and we'll save. Yes, my file. All right, talks about nano creating a file. Then it talks about VIM. You don't have to do this right now. Is this more advanced version of a text editor? And it says, ask your questions below, create a file using nano, did that. Then it says, edit task three located in try hack me's home directory using nano. What is the flag? So there's task three, you can just cat task three. And there you go. Cool. All right, next task, task four, general useful utilities. So this task talks about downloading file, files in Linux, transferring file. So transferring SCP and downloading is WGET, WGET. Now, Answer your questions below. Ensure you're connected to the deploy machine. That's my IP 10.10.104.76. Complete it. Now it says, now use Python 3 HTTP server module to start a web server in the home directory of the TryHotMe user on the deploy instance. Hint, use this one. Python 3-m HTTP.server. So, it is following this along. So let's try this. I think mine's is lagging. Oh, there you go. So Python 3-m HTTP server. Okay. Complete it. It says download the file, this link right here, onto the Try Hack Me attack box. What are the contents? Use WG is a hidden file, so do not forget the period in .flag.txt when downloading and catting. So right here, what I do is I open a tab and use the W command like on this example. So W 
you could type it in or just copy, use the clipboard, clear it, paste, and paste again. Okay, so this looks like it's good, 200, okay, download. Alrighty. Now let me see, is it on this one? No, it's not. And then it says okay right here too. Get flag. All right. Now the next. What are the contents? Oh, let's see. This. Oh, it's hidden. I forgot. Is it right here? Or is it here? Sorry, guys. I forgot. Right here. Dot flag. So, cat dot flag dot txt. There you go. That's the answer. And the last one, create and download files to further your apply your learning. See how you can read the documentation on Python's three HTTP server module. Use, use Control C to stop Python three HTTP server module once you finish. Sure. Let me uh, try this one. HTTP server already in use, okay. I'll w get this one just in case. Hit clipboard. Let's see, okay again, this should be the same. This is control C. Yeah. Okay, complete. Let's go task five process 101. So it talks about viewing process, the PS, managing process, game process, how to start and stop, and introduction to background and for background in Linux. So just different commands. So it says, rate me. I do strongly recommend to read it to understand the fundamentals. It says, we were next question, we were to launch a process where the previous was 300. What would the ID of this new process be? So it says on this paragraph, note how the screenshot below the second process PS has a PID of 204, then the command below, this is then incremented 205. So 300, the next one would be 301. If you wanted to cleanly to uh, kill a process, what signal would we send it? So as you read through the task, cleanly Clean up. So signal kill kill the process, but allow it to do some cleanup tasks beforehand. So sick term. Copy and paste. Boom. Locate the process that is running on the deploy instance 10.10.104.76. What flag is given? Hint. Use PS Awk to list all the running processes. We're looking for a process that seems out of ordinary. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in full mode to get a clear picture. So PS, here we go. Just like example, 
PS is to list all the process. It says look out of ordinary. As you go down, try to see what's different. Look, as you kind of notice the try hat me answers, it's pretty much this one. Awesome. What command would we use to stop the service? My service. Hint. System M control option service. Copy and paste that. As you read the paragraph, it's talking about the four options right here. So you can just copy and paste. Option it says stop service. Stop my service. Awesome. Next question, what command will we use to start the same service on the boot up of the system? Again, you go back up here, it will either start or enable, and I believe it's enable. So again, copy and paste, start the same service, so it's enable my service. Awesome. What command we use to bring a previous background of process back to the foreground? So the keyword is foreground. And as you read through this, we can use FG to bring this back to focus like below. And it's FG. All right, next task, task six, maintaining your system automation. So this one talks about Chrome tabs and talks about special file with time formatting. And just for this answering questions below, ensure you're connected to the deploy instance and look at the running Chrome tabs. Hint, Chrome tab E. So Chrome tab E. All right, when will the Chrome tab on deploy instance 10.10.104.76 run. And again, take a look at the position and the value within the appropriate column. Now, as you read through it, it's talking about this at reboot. Awesome. That's task, task seven, maintaining your system package management. So talking about packages, uh, you can just read through it. You can do the download and then you can add and install subline text or not, and then you can remove it. It says, since try me instances do not have an internet connection, this task only requires you to read through the material. Complete. All right, let's exit out of this. So it's talking about maintaining your system logs and has screenshots and examples. It says, look for the Apache logs on the deploy of Linux machine. Located in var log and Apache. So you can copy, paste like that. So I'm gonna go full. CD change directory var Apache log. Then let's check it out. And it talks about what's the IP address who visited site. So it talks about access logs and error logs. And by listing, you can only access these two. So I'm going to do cat access log dot one what is the ip address of the user who visited the site so i believe it's this one copy and paste 
2.111. Bam. And what file did they access? Uh, should read through it. Get. It's a JPEG file. Copy again, paste. Awesome. And last one, task nine, conclusion summaries. Talk about the last basic fundamentals and answer questions below. Terminate the machine, deploy in this room from task two. Terminate, close. Complete, continue learning in other Linux dedicated rooms. All right, guys, uh, this is part three, Linux fundamentals. You can share your work badge, Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn as I share mine and LinkedIn. And I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please give a thumbs up. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Comment below how to uh, for me how to improve these videos. Um, yeah, just came back from vacation, and I do not have any IT experience. This is just something I do for fun. And currently, I have CompTIA certifications. Uh, A plus, CY, SA plus, Network plus, Pentest plus, and Security plus, and they're all active. So I'm going to do the video, guys, how to pass these exams. And um, yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time.